Finish the game, lads. Pick it up. Ball down the heel. For many a Londoner, Hammersmith must have looked and sounded like a foreign country yesterday. The Curragh races attracted crews from London, the west of Ireland, and the famed Oxford and Cambridge boat clubs. The sponsors were an American brewing firm who stepped in after the first choice insisted the legendary Curraghs be painted blue. But the Great River itself was the biggest problem. Members of the Oriel Kensington Club uh, took a Curragh out on the river during the week, and the five knots was a problem. So they immediately rang or called Martin Connolly, who is a Gaeltic man and is very familiar with the Curragh, and said, Martin, we have a tremendous problem here with this Curragh racing. We're rowing as fast as we can and we're not getting anywhere. And Martin just used three or four words and he said, well, you'll have to row harder, won't you? And put the phone down. It's a historic day. It's the first time we've ever had Curragh racing on the Thames. And, and I, hope, I hope it won't be the last. That's an important part of Ireland, but an increasingly important part of Ireland without in any way diminishing that side, is the message I want to deliver. Modern Ireland is open for business, it means business, it has its act together. Uh, yesterday here I opened a Taste of Ireland, which was an exhibition attached to this uh, to show Irish industrial products. This is probably one of the, the first uh, serious ventures that we've involved ourselves in. Uh, even though we've left Ireland, we're firm in our resolve that we're going to uh, maintain an interest in Ireland and push Ireland's interests abroad. And as you see around you today, this trade fair is probably the first of many projects we're going to organise. And um, hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll go some way down the way to, to, to pushing Irish Ireland's products image abroad. How did the Oxford and Cambridge lads acquit themselves? <laughs> well, I had a fellow in the boat, and the comment that come back is that they've gone fishing, but the Cambridge lads done fairly well. They come in third in their heat of six. But they didn't have an awful lot of experience in the Corrups, and but they intend to come back, and they intend, they intend to do a bit of practice as soon as they get a chance. I think they'll, uh, they'll be... Uh, team to consider in the near future. For the bit of practice? Oh, definitely, yeah. <laughs> and they're great sportsmen, you know, they really enjoy it. Down here on the river in June, there's an international race, and already we've got an invitation for that. So, I think we're here to stay. Okay, well, a right lad now. I thought she there a shoe <laughs>
Festival organizer Rosalind Scanlon looked ahead to three busy weeks. And I think it's going to give um, a British, Irish and international audience in Britain the very highest experience of Irish culture. Do you want to take a chance and tell us what the highlights are? Um, there's so many highlights because it's such an exciting festival. I think maybe one of the major highlights is the concert by Van Morrison and the Chieftains, which is great because you've got a mixture of contemporary Irish music from the north and the south, as well as, as mixed up with sort of folk, the roots, Irish traditional music. So that's an exciting event in itself.